Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. And one that's going to go a little bit long. Uh, my apologies for that. I tend to try and keep these to uh, 10 minutes. Uh, but there's way too much detail in this build and I didn't want to skip on it too much and uh, end up leaving things out. So this is where we left off on Wednesday. Uh, that's all ready to be glued. And now I need to find a way of getting the water that's going to go down through those four cups uh, to get back to the outside of the filter so it can go back up to the, where the lid is. And that's what this ring is going to do. It's going to be machined so it'll be a friction fit to the bottom. And there will also be a little base on that to keep it centered in the filter. I'll uh, show you how that works later on. And what I need to do, uh, I need to do the edge up really nice on this, but you can't clamp from the outside because it just squishes it too much. So as you saw there, I, just, I clamped it from the inside. And the other thing I need to do is I need to find a way of putting a lid on this that I can remove. And I'm going to stick with the one I've been doing for a while now. And that is to have four bolts holding it together. But <laughs> the piece that goes on to the filter has had the inside part machined out. So it, <laughs> there's no way of fitting on the arbor anymore. So that's why I'm sandwiching it here between uh, two other pieces. Uh, that way it'll be held in place. I can drill my holes. Unfortunately, <laughs> one of them is going to be uh, sacrificed because uh, I only need two. But uh, there's just no way around that really. So I'm going to use this parallel to make sure that I get the edge uh, right as I rotate it because there's very little extra material around the edge of this and I want it to be as sturdy as possible. Just so I can take some abuse. <laughs> and that, that wasn't really a cue for this part but it just kind of worked out that way. Uh, it is actually quite sturdy. Uh, the other thing that happens when you drill through uh, acrylic when you have uh, the blue uh, plastic uh, <laughs> it tends to weld it together so I had to put it down for a few seconds to uh, get pry it apart. So there you go, this is, the top ring here is going to fit on uh, the outside of the canister filter and then it's going to flip over like this and that is going to be the lid. Now the other thing I need to do here is it needs another hole because uh, <laughs> I can pump the water in through one and it has to come out through one. And as you can see, because I'm making this out of a fairly narrow uh, tubular acrylic, uh, there's not an awful lot of space. But again, because it is quarter inch thick, it is quite durable and it's more than strong enough for this. But I just wanted to show you this part because uh, I mean, it is actually fairly uh, a precise a drill hole because, it, like I said, it's just and this needs to be as accurate as possible ever just just to give me enough material on both sides. Now my original intent here, I wanted to make this all out of acrylic, 100%. Everything uh, having to do with it is going to be you know, clear and easy. And what I was going to do is I was going to make some uh, nuts and bolts out of acrylic. And that's what this was. This clip was meant to show you the process I go through. Uh, in this case to put a hole in the middle for a nut. And then I was going to thread some rod and that rod was going to be uh, like the bolts, like here. And it threads really nicely, there's no real issue with that. But there's one small problem. The acrylic rod is extruded rod, and it's only a quarter inch thick. And in mean, the hole through this is pretty good, And but you can see here, if you watch as I rotate this, uh, it breaks. It's too brittle. I would have to use cast, and I didn't have any cast rods, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to use the regular uh, stainless steel bolts and uh, maybe later on I'll uh, you know get around to making the acrylic ones uh, but for this video it's going to have to be this way and here's the base I was talking to you about uh, it's necessary because I want uh, like I said I want this to fit down the middle and I want to be able to pull it in and out but it has to stay centered so the water can flow all the way around it and also uh, the way that this is going to be connected to the pump, it's also going to, uh, it's easier for it to fit if I have a nice center hole like this. One of the other things I meant to do but didn't get around to, and I'm not sure it's really necessary, is I was going to, uh, at least uh, for two or three of those holes, uh, plug one up uh, and narrow a hole down so it would spread the water out some more. And I probably will still get to that, but for uh, this video, I just left them open. Like I said, there's 
there's only so much time in a week and I just really didn't have enough time to uh, put that all together. Now this is going to be the cap uh, for the top uh, cup. And this is uh, going to have uh, the reason why there's a hole in it like that the water is going to come from that center hole in the lid and there's going to be an extension pipe that's going to go into that and that is going to be how the water is going to enter uh, this whole stack of filters and because it's it's not quite friction fit but it is enough of a fit that there won't be much in the way of water escaping around it that it is going to uh, force the water pretty much to go down through the middle of this and that's uh, pretty much the intent of it and this is uh, how the stack's going to go of course this all needs to be glued up still but uh, that's what it's going to look like minus the you know the blue pad in the bottom <laughs> Now the next clip here is actually out of order. I noticed it as I was uh, doing the narration for this. Uh, what I'm doing here is I am going to glue on uh, the ring to the canister filter and <laughs> you'll notice that the top lid there doesn't have the second hole yet. It doesn't really matter. It was just something I noticed as I was doing this. So to glue this on, the important part was for me to make sure that the ring is seated properly. So <laughs> it's going to band head a here. It's going to lean on it and make sure that it is uh, true and flush to the top of it because if any small amount of it sticks up a little bit it's going to put a bit of pressure on uh, the lid as I uh, bolt it down and I don't want to risk any kind of cracking. I mean this is uh, quite thick and, and durable but there's no point in putting any extra pressure on it that I don't need to. So here I've glued everything together. Uh, when I was gluing the base on here uh, <laughs> What I could have done is I could have machined it uh, so that it was oversized and then after I glued it and it cured for a day, what I can do is put it back into the lathe and then machine it down to uh, the actual size I want and therefore it would end up being uh, perfectly true to uh, the outside diameter. But <laughs> I try not to get too excessive in my... Uh, um, machining I don't want to it doesn't need to be that precise I mean there's a lot of tolerance here uh, and in this particular case eyeballing was more than enough so the only thing that really needed to be done and to be machined as tightly as possible is uh, is these lids and how they fit to each other because I really do want to be able to stick my finger down the middle of this and be able to uh, pull the whole stack out all at once media and all because I like that kind of uh, easy way of doing this. I don't have to, you know, turn this thing upside down and dump everything out. So there you go, the lid's glued on, uh, everything's stuck together. It is a bit of a nuisance trying to get them to fit together, um, but plastic wears, so in time this will may, you know, eventually get to the point where it's not as snug as it is now, and I want to, you know, always be able to do this. So there you go, it's all set now to do <laughs> one of the last few steps. And that is to uh, machine the two uh, inputs and outputs. The, the neat thing here is, <laughs> you'll notice as I'm pulling that rod there, you notice it's not as tight as all the other fittings. And I did that on purpose because what I want to do is fit that down into the center hole there and then glue it in place. But I don't want to end up having to machine the rod, like the center uh, post, because if I do that, it won't be clear. <laughs> Now, I was trying to make this all clear as, as clear as possible at this point. And as you can see, the second one I put in is like you have to lean on it to get it in. Now, I was going to end up making uh, these out of acrylic. I mean, that was my intent. But after I ended up having to use the steel bolts, I decided that, well, first off, it would take me a lot longer to machine them and then polish them down to clear. So I decided to just go with the Delrin here. So I machined uh, two bushing fittings here and let me know in the comments below if you want me to try making these out of uh, clear acrylic. It can be done with a, you know, too much stress but uh, the problem with acrylic is because the water needs to go through the center of these, uh, <coughs> it can't hold a clamp as well. So I was kind of concerned about cracking it uh, but Delrin's really quite sturdy and I wasn't too worried about it at all. So. Just keep that in mind when you're writing in the comments. Let me know if you think that's something that you want me to do. And as we're talking about that, there is one more thing I should probably mention. I wanted to build uh, the bracket 
or manifold, whatever you want to call it, that's going to fit on the tank where the, these hoses are going to go to. But again, I ran out of time for one thing. And the other thing is, is I actually wanted some input uh, on what you want it to look like. I can make it out of uh, Delrin like those, uh, or I can make it out of clear acrylic. And I wanted you guys to give me some input on what you think uh, it should look like. Uh, so what I'm going to do here in the next few clips is I'm going to get this uh, up and running and show you what it looks like and everything and show how it flows. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a pump on it and just let the hoses hang over the side of the tank and uh, you're going to be able to see what it looks like. But uh, and by the way, this is, <laughs> this is a close-up of what it looks like and I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to fire this up now and I want you to think of ideas what you think it's going to look like or how it should look for the brackets. So here we go. I'm going to fire this up and a lot of water is going to go through this. It's really quite cool. And it fills quite nicely and as you see it goes right down the middle. And again, I probably will have to make some kind of brackets for it. And one other thing I noticed, uh, when you're trying to have a friction fit between Delrin and acrylic, it doesn't, uh, it isn't waterproof. Uh, friction fit between acrylic and acrylic is, but for some reason the Delrin simply just didn't want to. It didn't want to, uh, like you see, it just drips there a little bit. It's an easy fix. I mean, it didn't take any effort at all, but I just kind of found it odd when I was doing this. Uh, so anyway, I fixed that. It was not a problem, just a little bit of silicone. We're good. Uh, so anyway, let me know about the brackets. And also, again, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And next week what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, the manifold that's going to sit on this to, for it to be part of the, you know, look nicer than just hoses hanging everywhere. <laughs> and I would like some input from you guys on uh, how you would like that to look. Uh, try to make it in the next few days because I, uh, you know, have to build these things and I want to get the video up on time. Uh, so anyway, like I said before, just... Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, also what you think of this build. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not sure it's something that <laughs> you would want hanging around your fish room, <laughs> but this is kind of cool. And also next week I'm going to put media in this as well and uh, show you it running uh, with actual stuff in it too. So thanks again for watching, and like I said, let me know what's going on, and <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. And Bye for now.